Welcome to Geography Scape, a channel dedicated to geographical learning. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding the videos, let us know through the comments. Today, I will show you how to interpret a weather map. First, we should know what is weather map. Weather map represents the conditions of weather of a place. These weather conditions are shown through different coded symbols and lines. Actually, weather map is a combination or amalgamation of recorded data in different weather stations of India. In India, more than 350 weather stations are situated where different elements of weather such as pressure, temperature, wind speed, cloudiness, rainfall, etc. are recorded daily. Therefore, we get weather map daily. Weather map is prepared by Indian Meteorological Organization which was established in 1864 at Simla, then it was transferred at Pune. Earlier only three elements were present in a weather map like pressure, wind and precipitation. But then other elements of weather uh, were included step by step. So, to read the map, we have to study the symbol of weather map first. N is used for the condition of cloud coverage. N are of two types in weather map, one for lower or medium cloud and another for high cloud. Generally, it varies from 1 to 8. First, lower or medium cloud, 0 means no cloud. In both the cases, zero means no cloud, there is no cloud coverage. One means in eight, one portion is covered by cloud, that is a line. In case of two, it is one plus one. That means the area covered by two, one line is called two. That is two lines covered that much of area is two. Three means two plus another one equal to 3. 4 means half proportion that means half part of the overcast area that is 4. 5 means 4 plus 1. 6 means 4 plus 2. 6. 7 means 1 minus 8 and 8 means totally overcast or complete overcast. Now we come to high cloud. 0 means no cloud. One line that is the half line means 1. Full line means 2. Half and 1 full means 3. 2 full line means 4. 2 full line plus 1 half line that is 5. 3 full line 6. 3 full line and 1 half line 7 and 4 full line means 8. So these are the symbols of cloud coverage. D here stands for direction of wind. The name of wind is determined by its origin. If it comes from east, then it will be easterly wind. It is no matter in which direction it goes. In weather map, direction of wind is shown by, a, by an arrow. This arrow shows the direction from where wind comes. We have to count this direction to understand the surface wind circulation. This figure shows the direction clearly as for example if wind comes from west the direction or the arrow would be like that. If wind comes from north, then the direction would be like that. So, I think 
you all are understand clearly now the direction of wind f represents wind velocity wind velocity indicates intensity of wind wind velocity is measured by the unit of knot one knot equal to 1.85 kilometer generally in weather map these types of um, uh, symbols are present or found first in case first a line means less than 5 knot which indicates light air if it is a line with a short uh, bar then it is 5 knot which represent light breeze in case of a long barb, it is 10 knot and indicates moderate breeze. 15 knots mean one long and one short, that is 15. One long means 10. 10 and one short means 5. Then 10 plus 5, 15 knots, which represent moderately fast breeze. Too long, that is 10 plus 10, 20 knot fast breeze. 20 plus 5 that is 25 knot strong beach in case of 50 knot it is a storm it is disastrous and in this case a small triangle covered with black color are found in weather map in is shown through different symbol based on its intensity a point means rain comma means diesel or light shower triangle with northward head is represent heavy rain while the downward or southward head means rain with hill star means snowfall horizontal line represents rainfall in between 0.25 to 0.74 centimeter while in case of vertical line it is 0.75 to 1.49 centimeter apart from them rainfall can also be directly written besides a station like one two three which means one centimeter two centimeter and three centimeter respectively She condition can be determined by the following symbol. CM means calm condition, SM smooth, SL slight, MN MOD moderate, RO rough, VRO very rough, HI high and very high, phenomenal and this symbol means the direction of wave. Other atmospheric phenomena of weather map represent haze, mist, shallow fog, fog, thunderstorm, lightning, sand or dust storm, drifting or blowing snow, dust will, etc. These are situated beside the station so that their characteristics are represented by these symbols. This is a weather map. Name of the map is Indian Daily Weather Report. This map shows time as 0830 hours IST, which means an Indian Standard Time, that is 8.30 a.m. of Indian Standard Time, and 0300 hours GMT, that means 3 p.m. at Greenwich. GMT means Greenwich Mean Time. Date of the weather map is also present in the upper portion of the map. Weather map can be interpreted by dividing it into following sections such as pressure condition, wind condition, cloud and rainfall conditions, sea conditions, etc. Today we will focus our discussion only on pressure condition. The brown lines which form a wavy pattern are known as isobar line representing pressure condition over Indian subcontinent. One isobar become rounded and situated over Vihar. Uh, we find a letter written in uh, it which indicates low pressure. In some maps, letter D or DD is written instead of L, which means depression and deep depression respectively.
Except Bihar, we also find a low pressure area over Pakistan and another on the Myanmar. In summer, land area become more warmer than ocean, so warm wind move upward and low pressure developed over land area. As low pressure is formed over land and high pressure is over ocean, so wind moves from high to low that means from ocean to land which is an indication of monsoon period. In this map, we also see a line with equal dashes and NLM is written on it. NLM means northern limit of monsoon. So from the NLM line, we clearly state that monsoon wind is not entering to land of India yet, but the cloud coverage of South Indian state such as Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Kerala are high. Rainfall starts in these places also. To interpret pressure condition, at first we have to study the location of bar high and bar low. Bar high means high pressure and bar low means low pressure. For this, we have to put the actual bar high and bar low location in a small Indian map um, and have to explain their causes of origin. As for example, Bihar and Pakistan were more heated due to summer and or any local reason of that particular day. So low pressure developed in these areas. Next we come to trend of isobar. To identify the trend of isobar, we have to draw the isobar in a simple line by a scale and the turn of isobar as an angle. As for example, the line, it is a very small line, 1008 HPA. Here is only one bend. So this bend uh, divided the line into two sections. These two sections are drawn through scale and normally an angle has been produced. Therefore, by this way, all the lines are transformed into an angle and um, line concept and the map of trend of isobar has been developed. After that, we have to interpret the trend of isobar um, by this way. First, their extension, that is their movement from dash direction to dash direction. As for example, this is a isobar line of 1006 HPA. This line move from west to southeast direction. Next, second, place of the bend and why this bend originate. This is the bend. This is a bend. This uh, and uh, these are also the bends. These bends are generally developed where land and sea conditions are found. That means land and sea contrast. The isobar line, that means the pressure condition is difference between land and sea. Therefore, the line is not a straight line. It bends here due to their difference of pressure. Third, location of the isobar axis. Then we have to know what is isobar axis, where isobar lines turn or move to form or to maintain the same pattern along an imaginary line is called the axis of isobar. In case this shape is maintained from this low pressure area, so we can draw an imaginary line through this um, particular uh, pattern. There may be more than one axis in a weather map. The first axis is called primary axis and another second axis, may, if it developed, is called the secondary axis. Third, pressure gradient zone. Gradient means slope. Pressure gradient means slope of the pressure. To identify the slope of the pressure, we have to draw a line extending from low to high pressure or high to low pressure. By selecting this line, 
which is called the section line, we have to draw a pressure gradient zone. Here, we must be careful for the selection of the section line. It should cross the maximum states of India. Pressure gradient zone are of three types. Steep pressure gradient where isobars are closely spaced. Moderate pressure gradient where isobars are moderately spaced and gentle pressure gradient where isobars are sparsely spaced. We also can identify their rate of pressure change with distance. For this, we have to measure the distance between distance between two isobar lines in kilometer and then the difference of pressure. As for example, here the two isobar line are 1008 and 1006. So in this gap, the difference of pressure is 2 HPA. And this line, if we calculate it or measure it through a scale, therefore we get the length of it by centimeter. Then we can transform it by the linear scale of the weather map into kilometer. So we can measure the actual ground distance, which is in kilometer and the pressure change uh, is 2 HPA. Then, then we divided the distance by 2 and get the rate of pressure change with kilometer. In this way, we get the different type of spatial uh, zone. The closely spaced, where the isobar are closely spaced, rate of pressure change is high. Here it is the um, smallest, that is 68.6 km per HPA, while this is the 401.8 km per HPA. The rate of change is very slow. Show the pressure gradient in gentle, whereas this is the very steep pressure gradient in this area and this is the another steep portion another steep portion of the pressure after construction of the section line along a b we have to draw a map on the basis of i estimation the map is the pressure gradient zone of India. The pressure gradient zones are steep, moderate and gentle, which are demarcated on the basis of I estimation as this uh, line, these two lines or isobar lines are very close. So this zone is demarcated as steep pressure gradient zone and the gap is very high between two isobar in these areas. Therefore, this is the gentle and this is very high so gentle gap uh, gentle pressure gradient and another rest of the places are considered as moderate pressure gradient after that we can conclude about the pressure condition over india